Everybody go onto your mat. Take a nice, comfortable seat. So I can see me. Yes. Okay, we're gonna start in a comfortable seat with a light meditation just to get us started. Sit comfortably in whatever seat is comfortable for you. It can be Sukhasana, the easy posture, or maybe on your knees, on a pillow, whatever's comfortable, and just close your eyes. And start to enter your body. Enter your breath. Hmm. Connecting your mind with your body, your body with your breath. Feel your heart over your hips. Long straight spines, open hearts forward, shoulders relaxed and open as well. circular breath by counting like we did previously, four seconds in, four seconds out, if that's comfortable. If not, you can always increase or decrease the number uh, depending on your lung capacity and what's comfortable for you. As you're breathing deeply, you can do a little body scan, see how you're feeling today, if anything feels tense or in pain, try to focus on that area in our practice to really release anything that's strained there or blocked, really letting the energy flow as we practice our asana together today. One more deep breath count of whatever number you chose. And we'll slowly open the eyes and enter a more active breath. Using our hands and our knees, we're gonna use that energy to pull us through, bringing our chest between our arms, pulling forward and inhale, look up, open that throat. And exhale, push on your knees, arch your back towards the back of the room, almost like a cat cow in a seated pose. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Feel free to do a couple more at your own pace. Breathing deeply, connecting your breath to your movement. One more. And we'll meet back at the center. Doing a, a couple circular motions of the spine. Still using that cat-cow movement of bringing the chest in between the arms and backwards, but now in a circular motion. Allowing the energy to flow freely in our spines and our backs and our hips and our shoulders and our neck. And to the opposite direction. Perfect. Coming back to center, we'll inhale the hands up. Long spine, space in between every vertebrae. 
exhale, coming to the right side for a side bend. Still breathing deeply, feeling this nice deep lateral stretch. Inhale back to center. Exhale, opposite side. Open that heart to the ceiling. Make sure you're not collapsing in the arm that's on the ground. You still want to feel length here, pushing off the ground to lift up even higher. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, bring the hands down and switch the legs. Whatever's behind will be forward now. Inhale, the hands up. Exhale, coming into a seated twist, left hand to right knee, right hand behind the back, maybe grabbing inner thigh, inner left thigh, or just keeping it behind the back. Still trying to maintain a long spine here. Use your breath as a tool. Every inhale lengthening, every exhale going just a little bit deeper into your posture. Inhale back to center. Long spines. Exhale, opposite side. Right hand to left knee. Left hand comes behind the back, binding to the right thigh. If possible, if not, then just behind the back. Look as far as you can behind you. Breathe deeply into your twist. Every twist you take releases tension from your back, as well as works on your digestive system, which I'm sure needs some firing up after all the things we're eating while staying home. Inhale back to center. Exhale, release the hands down. Coming into a tabletop. And in our tabletop, we wanna make sure our hands are beneath our shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Spread the fingers to get a nice grip on your mat. And enter circular motions on the wrists, warming up that wrist joint. Squeezing in all the fingertips to help our wrist joints so not all the weight is being just distributed to the wrist. We want to distribute it to the whole palm as well. And circular motions to the opposite side. Coming back to your tabletop, we're going to walk the hands backwards at, in the direction of your fingertips towards you, but one step at a time. One inch at a time, turning the fingers towards your thighs, towards your legs. Coming into a nice rotation of the shoulder, maybe taking a second here with the fingers in the direction of your legs. Breathing deeply. If you want to go in deeper towards the stretch, you can move back with your weight towards your heels, lifting the palms up a bit, and going in and out. Back to your tabletop, we're going to walk the fingers back to their normal head position, one centimeter at a time. And slowly sit back down on your heels, coming onto your toes, taking a moment here to rock the knees up and down.
taking a moment here in a slight toe stand. You can keep your hands on the ground if that's more comfortable, or maybe lifting the hands up to heart center in Anjali Mudra. Namaste hands. Bouncing on your toes. On your next, next inhale, we're gonna rise up to standing. And exhale, down. Couple head circles, releasing the neck and shoulder area. Try to go slow just to feel every side of the neck. Maybe closing your eyes, feeling other places that this might be connected to. Maybe in your upper back, maybe upper arm, maybe by your ears. Connecting your breath is always opposite side. We're gonna take our right hand, bring it on the left side of our head, bring our head to the side, no pressure, just extra weight. And we'll take our left hand out to the left side as if we wanna grab something over here. It's an active hand to intensify this stretch in the neck. switch sides. Maybe take a moment in the center to feel the difference in energy on the sides of your neck. And switch. Left hand on the right ear. Slightly pressing but not intensely putting pressure. And the right hand comes out to the side as if we want to grab something over here. slowly release. Before we enter our Hatha salutations, we'll do a fun little toe stretch that I love. Just coming into a regular stance, we're gonna press into all of our little toes and lift the big toe as high as you can towards you. A little toe action here. If you feel like you're starting to sweat just from this movement, it's okay, it's totally normal. Your brain is working extra hard here. It's more brain work than muscle work. <laughs> Make sure you're really pressing into all those little toes and the big toe is going towards you intensively. If your fingers are trying to help you out here, that happens as well. So either you can shake out the fingers or you can use it to your advantage if it's helping you get it. That's okay too. Then we'll switch, pressing into the big toes and lifting all the little toes. Now some of you might think this is easier, but make sure you're not just bending in with the knees internally. We still want to have our legs straight and strong, just pressing into that big toe. And now the little toes are going towards you. If you can, try to spread out the little toes as much as you can and raise them. If you're finding this difficult, you can do one foot at a time as well. I hope you're enjoying this. I love this posture. <laughs> and slowly release, shake out the feet. Keep that intention whenever you're working on balancing postures to really ground in your toes, ground in your feet. It'll really help in the balancing postures. So coming to the top of your mat, we're gonna enter our Hatha Salutations Fun Flow. Big toe to big toe. Inhale, bring the hands up. Urdhvahasthasana, upward hand posture. Even here, you should be feeling your toes and your feet pressing into the ground. And from there, you can lift up even higher. 
Exhale, coming to the ground into a forward fold. If you need to bend your knees, you can. Also, if you want to protect your lower back, if you have any back pain, you should bend the knees and work on your forward fold with a straighter back. Make sure the weight is in your toes here, not in your heels. From here, we're gonna bring the left foot all the way back, coming into a lunge. Drop the hips, and inhale, look up, opening the throat chakra. Beautiful. Coming back into a plank. Strong planks here. You have a couple options. You can come down in a chaturanga. You can come down in ashtanga, ashtangasana, which is um, knees, chin, and toes, and hands, but the hips are in the sky. Or you can come into a child pose for a second. Those are your three variations here of transition. Whichever one you choose, you can always change every round as well. Choose one of them and we'll meet in Cobra. Inhale into your Cobra. Press your fingertips, bringing the shoulders away from your ears, lengthening the spine up and over. Tuck the toes, exhale, downward dog. Adjust yourself as needed, legs, hips distance, hands shoulder distance, hips to the sky, and transfer the weight back to your feet. Nice straight spines. Look forward, we're gonna leave our salutations the same way we came in. Left leg comes in between the hands. If this is difficult, you can help the leg come forward. Drop the right hip down to the ground. Look up, inhale. Big toe to big toe. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, upward hand posture. Exhale, rest, samastiti. Hope that was fun. Let's go to the other side. <laughs> Inhale up. Exhale to the ground. Right leg goes back now. Drop the hips. Inhale, look up. Coming back to plank. Choose your variation to go down in. I'm gonna go with Ashtangasana. Exhale, and inhale into Cobra. Look up. Tuck the toes, exhale, downward dog. Look forward, right leg comes all the way. In between the hands, drop the hips. Inhale, look up, open that throat, that neck. Feel this nice stretch there. Big toe to big toe. Exhale, head to knees. Inhale, rise. Exhale, rest. Beautiful. Inhale up. Exhale down. Left leg comes back. Drop the hips, inhale, look up. Coming back to place, choose your variation. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Gonna spice it up a bit, bringing that left leg up towards the sky. Coming into a one-legged dog. Try to make sure your hips are square here. Not opening the hips yet. Taking a moment to focus on these nice hip alignments. Doesn't matter if the leg needs to come lower for you to feel that. Take a deep breath here. Pushing off your hands, bringing that weight to your right foot. The grounded foot. And slowly we're gonna open the left hip, coming into a nice little open one-legged dog. Still breathing deeply. Push off your hands, transfer your weight backwards. Slowly bringing the leg back to your downward dog. Taking an exhale. Look forward, bring that left leg in between your hands. Drop the hips, inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe, exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, rise. Exhale, rest. Other side. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward fold. Right leg comes back. Drop the hips. Inhale, look up. Coming back to a plank. Choose your variation. And inhale into your cobra. Downward dog. Exhale. Other side. Now we're going to lift the right leg up towards the sky. Taking a moment to try to square the hips. The leg will probably come lower, and that's okay. Breathe deeply here. You're doing great. Proud of you. Slowly, we're going to lift the hip now and open the right hip towards the sky. Drop the foot behind. Come into this open one-legged dog. You can even look under your right armpit to get into a little bit of a nice twist here. Coming back to center, drop the foot back into your downward dog, exhale. Look forward, bring the right leg in between your hands. Dropping the hips, inhale, look up. Exhale, big toe to big toe, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Samastiti, rest. Inhale, rise. Exhale to the ground, forward fold. Left leg back. Inhale, look up. Coming back to plank. Your choice to meet us in cobra. Exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Lift that left leg, inhale. Exhale, bring the left leg in between your hands and stay on the top of your toes and your right leg. Inhale, we're gonna come into a high lunge. Beautiful. In your high lunge, make sure you're not arching your back too much, coming into a back bend. You wanna bring the pelvic tilt forward protecting your lower back and really working on that right hip flexor. Beautiful. Hands up towards the sky. Breathe deeply. Hold that core in, ribs tucked in the center. Make sure the knees over the ankle as well and not going beyond. Dropping the hands back to the ground. Bring that left leg back up to the sky. Inhale and exhale back to your down dog. Taking a moment here. Look forward, bring that left leg in between your hands. Drop the hips. Inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe, forward fold. Exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, rest. Other side. Inhale, up. Exhale down. Right leg back. Drop the hips. Inhale, look up into your lunge. Open the throat. Back to plank. Choose your variation. Inhale, up to cobra. Downward dog. Exhale. Lift that right leg up towards the sky. And bring that leg in between your hands, prepping you for a high lunge. Stay on your toes on the left foot. Make sure the knee is above the ankle. Inhale, hands up. High lunge. Protect that lower back. Core is engaged, working really nicely on your hip flexor. Breathing deeply. Pressing into your feet, feeling balanced and strong. Drop your hands to the ground. Right leg comes behind you. Swing it up into your one-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, drop the foot down. 
Look in front of you, in between your hands. Bring that right leg in between your feet, in between your hands. Drop your hips. Inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe, forward fold. Exhale. Inhale, Uddhava Hastasana. Exhale, rest. Beautiful. Inhale up. Exhale to the ground. We're heating up here every round. Try to go a little bit deeper. Left leg back. Inhale, look up. Drop the hips a little bit more. Back to plank. Whatever variation. Inhale, meet in cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Left leg up towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale in between the hands. Inhale, rise, high lunge. Exhale, bring the chest to thigh. And hands swing behind you. You can look at your big toe. Take a couple breaths here. In this flying variation of your high lunge. One more deep breath. On your next inhale, rise back up into your high lunge. Drop your hands back down to your grip to the ground. Exhale. Left leg comes back up. Inhale. One leg you dog. Exhale, down dog. Look between your hands. Left leg comes all the way through. Drop the hips. Inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe, exhale, head to knees, go deep here, we're warm now. Inhale, rise. Exhale, rest. Right side. Inhale up. Exhale down. Right leg back into your low lunge. Inhale, look forward, open your chest between your arms. Back to plank. Whatever variation, meet in cobra. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Prepare yourself. Right leg comes up. Inhale. Exhale, bring that leg in between your hands. Inhale, coming into high lunge. Exhale, chest to thigh. Swing the arms back. Look at your right big toe. Breathe deeply. Feel balanced in your flying high lunge. Drop the hands to the ground. Exhale. Right leg swings up to the back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Swing up into your high lunge. Drop your hands to the ground. Exhale. Right leg swings back into your one-legged dog. Exhale back down to the ground. Looking between your hands, right leg comes all the way through. Drop the hips, inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe, exhale. Inhale, rise. <sighs> Last round, both sides. So let's do it. <laughs> inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Go as deep as you can for these last two sides. Left leg back. Inhale, look up. Back to plank. Whatever variation, exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Taking a moment here to rest. Left leg comes up through the sky, inhale. Exhale, bring the foot in between your hands. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, chest to thigh, hands swing back. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, hands to the ground. Left leg swings up. Inhale, one-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Look in between your hands. Left leg comes all the way through into your low lunge. Inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe, exhale, head to knees. Inhale, rise. Exhale, rest. Last one, go as deep as you can. I believe in you. Inhale up. Exhale down. 
Right leg back. Drop those hips real low. Inhale, look up. Back to plank. Whatever variation. Exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Taking one deep breath here. Right leg comes up, inhale. Bring it in between the hands, exhale. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, chest to thigh, swing arms back. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, hands to ground. Inhale, right leg swings back, one leg is up. Exhale, down dog. Look forward, right leg comes in between the hands, drop the hips, inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Samastiti, he rest. Beautiful. Take a moment, open your legs, open your hands. Close your eyes. Breathe deeply. Feel this energy flowing throughout your body. This prana, vital life energy force. 10 rounds of salutations of moving your body and you can create this beautiful flow of energy from your toes to your head. Connect to your breath. See if you can slow down your heart rate by controlling your deep breath. Beautiful. We're gonna close the legs about five centimeter distance from each other. The inner hips width. Inhale, the hands come up. Interlace the fingers and invert them, holding them strongly by your ears as if they're hugging your head. Your head is neutral, no need to strain the head or look anywhere with the head. And we're gonna inhale coming onto our tippy toes for palm tree posture. Now in your palm tree posture, you don't have to go to the end of your tippy toes. Find a place where you can hold, where it's comfortable for you to hold. Focus on your drishti or one point to focus, whatever that might be, maybe a point on the floor, on the wall, something in front of you to help you balance, pressing into all your toes. Make sure you're still hugging in your stomach and your rib cage into the center and not spilling forward, coming into a back bend. What a nice neutral spine here, engaged core. We're gonna take an inhale, rise a little bit higher. Exhale, turn to the right, staying on your tippy toes. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, turn to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, drop the feet, keep the hands, and even strengthen them again. Make sure they're strong and by the head. Beautiful. Inhale, rise with your spine, lengthen your spine. Exhale, come to the right into a side bend. Nice lateral stretch and look towards the left, up towards the sky. Now in this side bend, make sure you're not collapsing with your left shoulder towards the ground. We wanna stay open here. Keeping that heart open and forward. Feel the burn in your arms and your shoulders. Don't worry when we, when we get out of this, they'll feel like feathers. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, other side, coming to the left. Looking towards the right and up. Again, checking that you're not collapsing forward. Keeping that chest open and forward. Come back up. Exhale, come forward into a 90 degree angle. And look towards your fingertips. 
Breathing deeply. Inhale up. Mini back bend. Look at your fingertips. And exhale. Release the arms. Woo. Shake it out. Beautiful. I'm gonna come into a couple balancing postures here. I'll do it from the side so you can see. Balancing in the left leg, we're gonna come into eagle posture. In eagle posture, we wanna lift the right leg and come over the left leg. You can try to bind here or just leave the leg on top of the other leg. Or as another option, you can keep the leg on the floor if you're not feeling so balanced today, that's okay. Choose your variation of the legs. Once you choose your variation of the legs, Right leg should be on top of the left leg. So we're gonna bring the right arm forward at 90 degrees. Left arm comes above and intertwines like our legs. Beautiful eagle postures. Pressing and grounding into your standing foot. Make sure your arms aren't just resting on your chest. They wanna be active and reaching up. Find a point to focus on your drishti that will help you balance. If you're feeling comfortable, maybe sit down a little bit more into your posture. Maybe it'll allow you to bind a little bit more with the leg. One more deep breath here. Inhale, unlock the legs, lift the right leg up. Exhale, bring the right leg back, coming into a variation of warrior three. You can keep the arms in their eagle hand posture or you can unbind and bring them forward or backwards or to heart center, whatever feels comfortable for you. And make sure you're squaring the hips like we did in our downward dog. Don't open that right hip up. Maybe lower the leg and find this nice balanced hip. From there you can work on your seesaw with your upper body and your leg and make sure the hips are squared and forward. One more deep breath. And exhale, bring the hands to the ground. Keep that leg up, coming into a standing split. And that can be wherever it is. It doesn't have to actually be a split. It's just the direction here. Keeping your hand on the ground, left foot grounded. Right leg's gonna rise as high as you can to the sky. Beautiful. And drop the leg slowly. Exhale. Collapse into your forward fold for a moment. Taking a rest before we go on to the next side. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Rest. Other side. Grounding in the right foot. Press down, maybe mentally, physically, whatever you need to do to make that right foot be strong. And enter your eagle posture, whatever variation of the leg. It can be a different variation from what you did on the other side, or it could be the same, either binding, keeping it open, or bringing that left leg to the ground. Once you have your leg variation, Whatever leg is on top will be the arm that comes up first. So left arm, 90 degrees. Right arm comes on top and binds. Find your drishti, your one point focus. Breathe deeply, stand, in your, stand strong on your standing foot. Maybe sitting a little bit more in your posture. Breathe deeply still. See if maybe you're feeling one side is more balanced than the other without judgment, just observation. Lift those elbows a little bit higher away from the chest. And slowly unbind the leg, lifting the left leg up and bringing it back into your warrior three variation. You can keep the arms here 
in your warrior three and your eagle hands, or bring them forward, backwards, heart center, whatever's comfortable for you. And again, squaring the hips. Don't open that left hip. Breathe deeply. Focus on your drishti, your one point that's helping you balance. Good job. And slowly bring your hands to the ground. Lift that left leg all the way up. Coming into a nice standing split. Your hands can go wherever they feel comfortable, maybe closer to your leg, maybe further for more balance. And lift that left leg all the way up. And lower it down, exhale. Take a moment to rest here. Maybe grabbing elbows, coming into a dangling fold. Rocking side to side. <clears throat> Breathing deeply, releasing all that nice balance work. <sighs> Bring your hands back down to the ground and check that your feet are a bit more than hips distance. And we're gonna sit in a yogi squat. Take a moment in your yogi squat to check yourself, see that your toes are in line with your knees and not too far open or, or they're doing different things. You wanna make sure you have a nice aligned base here. If your heels aren't touching the ground, you can maybe put a pillow underneath so it's more comfortable to feel grounded here. And when you're ready, bring your hands to heart center, elbows in between your knees to help you use this contra here to open up your heart, to lengthen in your spine. This is a great pose to work on your posture. Make sure you're still grounding in the feet, the toes aren't lifting. And breathe deeply, you can close your eyes if that's comfortable. Slowly drop your hands to the ground. We're gonna enter a little hip movement here, allowing the energy to flow freely in and out of the hips. We store a lot of emotions in our hips and in this corona isolation time, I'm, I'm sure we're going through lots of roller coasters of emotions and we wanna let them flow freely in and out. <laughs> So really get into this nice hip movement here. Hip joint movement, maybe doing an eight angle infinity sign with your legs. Maybe just shaking them, whatever feels comfortable for you. And whatever you did, do the opposite direction. Stay here and hold here. 
or you can test your balance and bring your right hand to grab your left foot. If you're holding your left foot, then kick into your right hand to bring your foot and your hand higher. Focus on one point on the ground to help you balance. You are in your tiger posture, beautiful tigers and tigresses. And slowly release. Taking a moment in child's pose before we do the opposite side. <sighs> Feel your breath against your thighs or in between your thighs. <sighs> One more deep breath. And we'll come back up into our tabletop. Getting ready to do the other side. Right knee to nose, exhale. Right foot to head, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last time, exhale. Inhale, hold. You can stay here or bring that left hand towards the right foot. Kicking into your hand with your leg, rising up higher and higher and higher. Focus on your drishti, one point to focus, helping you balance, press into your standing hand and leg. Channel your inner tiger. One more deep breath, kick higher, and exhale, release. From here we'll come into a nice deep puppy pose, keeping the hips up high. We're gonna walk the hands forward. Now, if you have a block or a pillow and your shoulders and chest aren't getting to the ground, you can stay on your elbows and hold the block. You can rest your forehead on the block and bring your arms forward or a pillow, making it easier for you if it's too much strain on the shoulders. If you're comfortable here, we'll get the chest to the ground or close, and either your chin will be on the ground or your forehead. Make sure you're keeping the hips high here. And breathe deeply, maybe close the eyes. In this deep shoulder opener. Allow your breath to really open up your shoulders. Maybe sinking a little bit more with every exhale. One last deep breath. And from here, we'll rise up onto our hands and come back onto our backs. Lying on the back now. We'll bring the knees to the chest, hugging them in, holding opposite elbows, maybe raising the head to your knees. Supchapawan Muktasana Wind Release Pose. Even while we're holding everything, compressing completely in complete flexion, we're still breathing deeply, we're still relaxed. And slowly release the head. Bring the arms out to your sides and draw circles on the ceiling, massaging the lower back. And 
Head to the opposite direction. We'll take hold of our knees and circulate them open and close. Working on the thigh joint here, the hip joint. You can also do this without hands if that's more comfortable. And the opposite direction, closing and opening. In and out. whatever inversion you want to do right now. I'm going to go into shoulder stand. You can come into bridge, which will be a low bridge, a shoulder stand, maybe a headstand, handstand, forearm stand, whatever is comfortable for you. I'm going to go to shoulder stand because I feel like that's the most all level inversion. Bringing the legs up, hips come overhead until you can place your hands on your lower back. On your legs, you want them to point towards the ceiling, not overhead. So really try to get this nice straight line here. If you can, maybe walk the hands a little bit lower towards the ribs to help you get that even straighter line. And breathe deeply in whatever inversion you chose. I highly recommend doing at least five minutes of inversions every day to reverse the effects of gravity, to get your energy up, to make you feel happier. And any inversion, it can be even downward dog, any pose where your heart is above your head. From here, and whatever inversion you chose, slowly come down vertebrae by vertebrae, using your core muscles, coming back down to the ground, slowly. Beautiful. We're coming to our last posture here, a nice deep reclined twist, bringing the right knee to your chest, Squeeze it intensively, creating nice compression in the hip here. Maybe doing circles with the ankle. And circling, and circling to the other direction. We'll take that right knee and bring it all the way to the left, coming into our deeper climb twist. Right hand will come out to the shoulder length, shoulder height, and look out towards your right hand. The twist starts from the neck. We really want to make sure we're also looking towards our right hand. Try to work here to get both of your shoulders on the ground while also getting your knee to the ground so you can actively work here in your twist or you can just rest in it, whatever feels more comfortable for you right now. Slowly come back to center and switch sides. Aligning your body again, left leg comes to chest, squeezing the knee to your chest. Nice compression in the hip area. Nice abdominal massage as well, abdominal organ massage. Sounds weird, but we love it. <laughs> and circles with the ankle. Change direction. And we'll take that left knee to the right side now. 
Open that left hand out and look towards the left hand. Again, trying to get the sh both shoulders on the ground. You can use your right knee, right hand to press your left knee into the ground more, or just passively lay in your twist, whatever your body calls for, you should listen. Slowly return to center and enter your Shavasana. You can choose whatever variation you want. If you want to put pillows under your knees or placing your feet on the ground, bringing the knees in towards the middle of the mat. If you have any lower back pain, that can be helpful. So choose whatever variation. And just take your time here. to feel present, to heal. This is your time with your body. Embrace it. Make the most of it. right side just for a moment you can use your right hand as a pillow left hand on your heart to feel your heartbeat the power of your heart or you can place your hand somewhere else that's more Last deep breath on your side. And keeping your eyes closed, let's meet in a seated position. Any seated position that's comfortable for you. Keeping the eyes closed just to feel the movement. <sighs> and returning to your normal breath. When you come to your seated pose, feeling the length in your spine open heart <sighs> bring your hands to heart center thank you for practicing with me today namaste i hope you enjoyed the practice if you have any questions feel free to let me know love you all <laughs> bye